Hello YouTube viewers, we've got another Minecraft video here for our Redstone Creations. Uh, this is episode 2, and uh, Daniel's decided to go straight to the complicated 10-bit uh, memory array. 10-bit uh, memory arrays used in, like, clocks, and what worlds can you use them in? Uh, anything that involves lots of pistons, really, and that need changing. Lots of alternating pistons. Basically, uh, you can Mainly yeah, you can set like when a piston goes off with a memory uh, memory array, and it will repeat the idea. Okay, so basically, uh, at the start here, um, you, well, yeah, you got all this. So this is where like all the things will come off. So if I just quickly do this, if I quickly do this, I'll just show you a three different ones. So if I get some redstone out, and okay, redstone does not travel through glass so it will travel through a normal block like stone or well any build block it will travel through but it will not travel through glass so or glowstone doesn't travel through glowstone okay so when putting in glass it will basically just turn them off so now if i got out uh, if i just put this going down and i get some pistons Show you that. So basically, that's turned off. But then, if I, well, yeah, this is the um, what powers it basically. This will do the bottom set of pistons, push them, and then push them around so it continues in a in like a circle. So I'll let that go. You should see it's going around. Look. So at the moment it's on, but when it reaches what the glass that I just put back in that I've been a second ago, they will go down. See, like so. Okay, so basically what you're doing is you're using um, normal blocks and glass and you're setting glass when you want the pistons to be off and you're setting a normal block when you want the piston to be on. So that's why it's good for making numbers and things because different combinations will obviously set off different pistons. Um, the other thing about this is it's, it's as it may look really complicated, it's a complicated design, but once you've done one memory array, you pretty much you pretty much can do quite a few different memory arrays and uh, get what you want out of the memory array. Uh, so Daniel's going to just explain how it works and he's going to put another one together and uh, he uses coloured wool just so he can memorise where things go better. Uh, so I'll let Dan explain it. Okay, so first of all we can start off with some basic pistons. So we just need uh, normal pistons, redstone, redstone repeater, lime wall, glass, and yeah, we'll just get out some oak wood planks. Okay, first of all you're going to place down eight pistons in the line just going upwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, then you're gonna leave three block space, one, two, three, and place it on the fourth. Place a wooden block on the fourth one, and then do eight going down again. Okay, then basically you're just gonna place another eight pistons on top, just pointing towards it, pointing towards the other pistons you just placed. So now basically these ones will push out, then they'll push up. Okay, next is you're gonna go three up on this one, one, two, three. And you want the piston to be there. Okay. So you go three up and one out. Okay. So you got eight again. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. And then you're gonna have to three out, one up. Sorry, no, four out, sorry, one up. So let's just get that in now. There you go. Two, oh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now you've got just the basics that will push it round, but now you've got to make it so it actually goes round at the right time. So, yeah, we're going to start it off quite simple. Yeah. Probably. Okay, let's start here. Okay, so first of all, you're just going to do these. You're going to place down, just place um, pistons on all of these. And then place the wooden block there because this this wooden block will uh, go up to there and eventually power that. So make sure when you put down your repeaters, you don't have a time delay, otherwise it'll mess up the whole system. Yeah. Okay. Let's place another piston now because it's still got a go going. Repeater, not piston. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay. So you, yeah, you're just gonna place like sort of step likes going up there. Up towards here. 
And there we go. Okay, just place blocks, keep going around. And then to put the, this bit will just power these eight pistons you got here. Just place redstone going all along this wooden bit and downwards. So now when that bit's activated here, this piston will go through this block up to here and activate these, which will activate them. Okay. Uh, what are we? We'll go. We'll go over the next. Okay. Uh, how are we pissing this? Yep. Okay. Place eight blocks on top of these. <coughs> Just double check this. Yep, I am doing it right. And then go downwards like the other side. And just do the same. Redstone again. Okay, place down the redstone repeaters. Link them all up. So now you've got them ones linked with them. Just Let's just double check they're working. So now when they're turned on, all of these push out, all of them push out. And when you turn these on... All of them turn out and all of them turn out. Okay, that's fine. Okay, next thing to do is to actually place in the memory and put the outputs, and like attach the output so you can just do this. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to place, um, ju we'll just place these here for now. We'll actually do this and just make a square going all the way round first. Like so. And we'll take away the unnecessary blocks in a second. Okay, so why Dan keeps going round with the blocks? Um, basically, on this one that we're going to be showing you, uh, we're going to have a uh, <coughs> full, so the full connection all the way round. And then we'll have a glass block connect uh, section on the end just to show you. And then uh, we'll link the ones up to the back, and we'll do some just some random ones. Uh, we'll just put glass in random places uh, in the system just to show you how each one works um, in sync. And uh, I think Daniel's ready to continue. So uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come round to this side of the uh, memory array. Just show you this. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to delete this whole line here. And kill a slime in the process. Yeah. Okay. Delete that one there and this one up here. So they're the two diagonal. Yeah, diagonal bits. Yeah, corners. Okay. Then you're going to come back to this side and just replace this, li this little one bit of the bit like circle-like thing into glass. This is basically your output, so you could add in, um, what's it called, uh, like hours or whatever. So if you wanted to count down from 99, this would be an output which would change another memory array next to it. So it would change that one every time that goes around once. So uh, next thing to do is put in... Yeah, okay, so get out some black wool. This is going to be doing your outputs. These can be any colours by the way, we just use green and black uh, because they're easy to see against each other and it makes it easier for you guys to follow if you're going to remake it. Okay, I'm just going to quickly delete this bit above because it's a lot easier to put them in. 